the next match was proves the before they ever went extreme. This match that I'm gonna talk about showed how hardcore this company, these wrestlers, could be with each other. The Sandman with Woman versus Iron Man Tommy Cairo with Peaches, Sandman's ex-wife. The dual Singapore caning match. Now, this match um, is a kind of a rip on a real-life situation that occurred over in Singapore. Um, some kid, some guy named Michael Fay, um, graffitied or damaged some cars, and as, as punishment, he was going to take some a Singapore cane, which is some kind of a a stick pole, really solid stick pole of some sort, and be caned with it ten times. If I'm not mistaken, I think President Bill Clinton, if I'm not mistaken, um, pleaded on his behalf to lower the amount of uh, cane strikes this kid would take. Um, I'm not sure how that turned out in the, in the news. I know I think it was lowered eight or nine. I'm not sure, but for Sandman, the okay, the Singapore cane became a tool for him for much of his career from this point on. And the moment that he came out, as Sandman came out, he was holding this. Uh, it, it, the Singapore canes that ECW had designed were some kind of sticks. I'm not exactly sure what kind of sticks. They were really long, taped or roped together at points. And uh, Sandman, when ECW eventually did a WWF appearance, um, they were when they were challenging the WWF wrestlers to come out, Sandman would hold a stick at right at the top turnbuckle or, or, in, or in front of the ring and challenge the wrestlers to come out. Like he was like the you know the you know, front the guard front you no know, <laughs> bring it on guys. That's the way a Sandman's appearance would be with the Singapore cane. That would be his. Uh, signature um, weapon to hold any time, you know, just the way he came out from, from that point on. And he hasn't even um, yet uh, attached or used the song Enter Sandman from Metallica yet. <laughs> oh my God. Um, but the Iron Man Tommy Cairo situation that uh, Pete, now I'm not sure exactly when the Peaches, uh, when, when Tommy Cairo and Peaches, when that started. I'm not exactly sure. It's, it's pretty much at this point. Uh, when, when that occurred, when they when they put them together, um, people want to comment on how that came about. But to, but same man in, in ECW TV interviews said t told Tommy Cairo to pay your dues. In a sense, he's saying he's like you're spending time with my wife. Whatever you're doing with her, no, you pay me. <laughs> Whatever. It was like a paint. He kept repeating, "Pay your dues." And so it came down to this uh, a dual caning match. Wow. Um, you know, Sam had kept uh, when when Tyra and Cairo and uh, Peaches arrived to ringside. He uh, Sam had kept chasing after his uh, ex-wife Pe Peaches uh, with with a Singapore cane a lot. But uh, I tell you, the times uh, they either they took the sticks, they hit the ring, the, the ropes, or t eventually when they start clobbering each other, that ricocheted loud and clear. You those things were real. They were start. They were. Very strong sticks, whatever they were. They beat as Arn Anderson just recently in, in a in a podcast with Bruce Pritchard, um, with uh, Conrad Thompson. Arn, Arn, I'm not, yeah, sorry, it was it was an Arn Anderson podcast with Conrad Thompson, and he was describing the Magnum TA Tully Tully Blanchard match at Circuit Eighty Five. He labeled that match. They beat the live, ever living piss out of each other. <laughs> Tommy Cryer and Sandman would match of this. They beat the ever living piss out of each other. They took those stick canes and whacked the living hell out of each other, loud and clear. Wow. Their arms, their head, their backs, welted red, blood poured. Oh my god. They beat the living hell out of each other, those kisses. Wow. Those stick canes. Holy cow. Whatever those sticks were made of. Wow. Like I said, it days two were showing how extreme these guys would go, could go, were were willing to do for these fans. The kind of wrestlers, kind of you know, personalities, kind of um, what they're willing to prove. 
No, it's Sam Mango. No, he he gives way back to tri the, the tri-state. He's an original. He's an original alumni. Tommy Cairo. Uh, he was newer to ECW, but this is one of the most beat the living hell out of extreme matches this company had early early produced in its very early years. Wow. Um, now how this finishes, um, kind of <laughs> in a mistake. Controver I wouldn't say controversy. Mistaken that. Um, I think Tommy Cairo was able to knock this, somehow Sam had lost his, his Singapore stick and, um, Peaches went, got a hold of his stick and she, and Peaches, Peaches got Sam and stick and she started chasing women and Joey says, he, she's on a straight woman. When Peaches went to, went to swing the stick, she, the referee was behind her and boom, she, she smacks the referee in the head with it. Oh, then eventually Sam Ant gets back in the ring and he grabs back his stick and whacks Tom, Tommy Cairo a pretty good a couple times and um, he covers uh, Tommy Cairo for the pin. You know, the referee called one, two, three for the pin. But I tell you, this is this is one this is one match that um, you want to watch. You want to watch how how ECW became extreme. This is the beginning. This is one of the beginning matches where they. The, the how the Singapore cane, the stick cane of of Sandman's became a signature tool for him. Um, he he was wherever he went from his matches on, he was always holding that stick. And th this is a match where they these guys they beat the hell out of each other with it. And it became a signature situ a, a signature thing for the for Sandman and for the company. It proved what they're willing to do with each other just to please please the ECW fans.